How do you respond to that idea that the MP is being asked to do too much? It is not that the MP is being asked to do too much. Literally over time, what is the job description of a member of parliament has sort of drifted away because of what people in your constituency expect you to do. And we have continued to perpetuate that erroneous expectation of ourselves by literally encouraging the people to believe that that is our role. So members of parliament are predominantly policy makers. However, people do not necessarily feel that wins votes. So you hear members of parliament asking for more constituency development fund so that they can spend that constituency development fund because the residents relate to you being the one who has those resources and are, you're issuing through distribution those resources. It is actually very wrong. CDF is a recent phenomenon. And it was an emergency response when you're in a position that you want to be able to help someone within a period of two weeks or three weeks. And going through, say, the Minister of Labor and Social Security, or going through the Minister of Health, whatever the ministry or agency is, would take too long. But in the main, a member of parliament is supposed to be making representation to the various ministries, agencies and departments for your constituents. You are not supposed to be the one taking on that role of the distributing agency. How does the how does Juliet Holness as MP, as Deputy Speaker of the House, wife of the Prime Minister, impact that kind of thing? Because one of the criticisms we have of your government is that your husband had promised that we would get job descriptions for MPs and people are saying we don't see that yet. So people don't know what the MP is supposed to do. How do we rectify that? I don't think he said job description for MPs. I think it was for ministers. However, <laughs> for MPs and councillors, it is actually um, clearly indicated what councillors' responsibilities are, exactly what agencies they are supposed to um, make representation to. So like a lot of persons called me about garbage, they really should go to the councillor because that is administered under local government. For one example, street light, many persons come to the MP, they genuinely don't know street lights are administered under the local government authority through the parish council. However, if I have someone in the constituency who is in dire need of housing, if somebody has medical issues that we need to approach the Minister of Health, if there are issues in terms of major roads that need attention, it is the member of parliament. And your job is to make representation. So I'll tell you, when I just became an MP and I went to NWA, they said, Mrs. Holness, you're the only MP we see come here already, you know. I would have gone to agencies where they say it's either me or me and another MP that turned up. So I've been to JSIF. I've had several meetings with NWA, gone to JPS, even though I'm not supposed to, because guess what? I am not getting where I would like to go for the people. Gone to NWA. So you need to sit with your agencies. Housing agency, uh, Medijek, you sit and you are able through proper representation to get the help you need for your constituents.